Is that legs? That shit's steady. Let's get it. Whenever I want to lay away or deposit my daddy saying when you see close, close your eyes, Lynch. Did you realize that you was a champion in there? Uh, yo, listen. Kanye West, college dropout, late registration. Y'all, look, let's start out with the with the music and the, the, the cinematic aspect. The sampling. No, we, we don't got to start up with the high pitch sampling. We could start with the orchestral aspect. When we talking about on late registration, where Ye added the orchestration and mixed it with with hip hop. Right. So hold up, y'all. Hold up. We, we got to paint the picture this. 2003, y'all know 50 Cent, my favorite rapper. We had 50 dominating the hip hop for like five years. Straight 50 G unit. Then Lil Wayne modifies 50 Cent's mixtape formula. Right? Jay-Z says that Right, he around this time, Jay Z said he's gonna retire. He becomes the president of, of Def Jam, and then Kanye West is is d- does a, a album where him and Fifty Cent released on the same day on on nine eleven in two thousand and seven. It was raining that na- that day on a Tuesday. Yo, y'all, where do y'all want to begin? It's so epic. Like, yeah, it is so intricate. That's why I said, where do we begin? Around this time, let's go to 2005, 2006. When, when is just beginning the mixtape run, right? 50 dropped the Massacre album and went plat- platinum the first week again. Now, at this time, when we're talking about yay. Ye started out with that universal appeal. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. Kanye West, Ye, been an, been an anomaly since he came out. And on top of that, he was producing, setting the trend. All of the hottest producers were sounding like him. And when he dropped through the wire, he was rapping with them. And some of his beats began to chart. Around that time, Kanye West, he he's beginning, he, he gets in a Rockefeller, he's producing beats for Beanie Siegel, right? Twister. And y'all, Twister is one of the top five lyricists of all time. That kamikaze album is one of the is a classic to me, right? Ye produced slow jams and overnight celebrity. And he got through the wire, right? And, and y'all know college dropout was fire, right? Then two, two and a half years after that, he introduces the, the orchestra into the hip hop music. And then he sonically shifts the sound while at the same time, he's one of the best producers. And his second album is a classic. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, y'all. I'm walling. Where do we begin? Around that time, Ye produced some fire on the Blueprint 2. On, on Jay-Z's album, Um, Ye produced some fire on there. And then he started producing for the other people in the Rockefeller camp. Right? Then he dropped his own. So, like, what I'm trying to tell y'all, the, the high pitch samples, Ye like I remember listening to beats from um oh my god their name is slipping me um not track masters heat makers right they, they I remember heat makers and heat makers their beats is fire but I remember around that time it was they would the dipset beats and and some of the Kanye beats was sounding alike y'all look around that time Oh, yeah, he was producing stuff on the Blueprint 2 on Jay Z album, and he was simultaneously making his own fire, setting the trend in production, and his bars was was fire as well. 
his lyrics had substance. So when he made All Falls Down, right? Like songs like that, he he attracted a whole different audience. Like even Gold Digger, right? Like I know that there was moms, like like white moms around that time that was singing that song. You like I'm serious, like you know, like my my friends in school and shit. I'm, they moms just singing it. I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, you know that song? <laughs> you know that song? Like, yo, a universal appeal. Ye came out like that. So y'all look when it comes to this, right? With Ye setting trends, you gotta understand that. Yeah, I think there was some um producers that rapped as well, but like when it comes to being a a mainstream. Like top two, top three artists, right? Like Ye was kind of like the the first to do that, in the in the same sense where like like Drake was the first to to sing and rap and like be the first, even though he probably wasn't the first. But like Ye, the the way that Ye redefined production and sonics around that time, like. I don't think there's anybody that that did it that did that like him. You get what I'm saying? Like, and what what, what he did, and then think about it. Even like the college students, right? We got to get on that next because that's something else. You look at Hove, right? Um, Dame, Dame, like people from that fabric, right? That's a different come up from Ye. Right, growing up, Ye, he went to China with his mom. You know what I'm saying? Major shout outs to his mom. Right, all of our moms, we love y'all always. And he had a diverse experience. But then at the same time, he's making er hip hop urban beats for rappers. And, 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 and motherfuckers getting busy in the streets. So that added to somebody that's already very diverse and even around that time all the influences that he pulls on from now like you you see that's always been there even then you might make a beat for a, a, a like a rapper right like a a, a, a rapper a, a hip-hop straight bars rapper but they might like the beat but a lot of the times you're going to get fire beats when you kind of step outside of, of your parameters and you throw in a unique flavor in there. And a lot of the times that might come from um, being like culturally diverse. So this is where when you you making music with Ye, right? And you could just be rapping, spitting bars, but then you hearing the beat and like ev even little things like that. Are, are the small steps that I think Ye eventually ended up taking a great leap in in his stake in shifting culture. It's astrosthetics. Now, we talking about just music. Do y'all want to talk? Where do we begin? Do y'all want to talk about the style next? Do y'all want to talk about the, 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 the Louis Vuitton? Because that was the first time that I think Ye made a strong leap in the fashion, right? He did the the loop. Remember, he was going to drop his own clothing line called Pastel, right? Then he was going to do a collab with, I think, Pharrell and Lupe Fiasco. Then he did the Louis Vuitton collaboration. Then after that, he did the Nike thing. Then after that, he did the, the Adidas thing. Then, right? And then that's like how he, he beautifully built that brand, that we call Yeezy today. Oh, y'all. Yeah, yo, seriously. Where do y'all want to begin with this? It's so multidimensional. Like, y'all. Y'all know it's astrosthetics. Let's get it. So, y'all remember in, in Stronger when Ye was like, especially in my pastel on my babe ish. Right? Remember that line? So, but then even when he said, um, um, Yeezy jumped over Jumpman or something along those lines. It's like he always kind of put that that tinge in there with him shifting the 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 culture fashion. Like yo, when you like when you talking about even like Bernard or no, 
a lot of people ain't know who Bernardo Arnault was prior to Ye mentioning him. Like, people like Ricardo Tishi, a lot of people ain't know who these people was prior. And like, yo, these people are titans in their field. But like, when I'm, I'm talking about two urban culture, Ye created that bridge. Like, y'all, what about the Glow in the Dark tour? Remember um, the Glow in the Dark tour? That was when he was like the stadium status. Even in the aspect of hip hop performance, remember, right? We talked about Ye bringing in the orchestration when he did late registration into urban into urban culture. What about when he did the Glow in the Dark tour and you start getting a different type of production, right? When when it comes to hip hop stage shows. When it comes to adding in the theatrical element to hip hop, who 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 else did it on that level like Ye? To the point where now, if if that's not there, we know something. Yeah, who else? Who else? Let me know. Put it in the comments. We we just mentioned the the hip hop performance, right? The 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 aspect of stage shows, the performing arts, Ye. Is also instrumental in there. He's instrumental in fashion. He's instrumental in music and not just rapping, right? Even Ye's bars. There's a certain the, the same way that J that Jay Z bars and even Wayne bars give you a certain type of ob. Ye also has that same thing where his bars is just like yo. Nah, that like that. Ye's bars make you kind of rede redefine and redistort how you perceive things, and like th th there's so many examples of stuff like this. In particular, falling, falling for the love of balling. Got caught with thirty rocks. The cops look like Alec Baldwin. Like yeah, that verse on gorgeous, right? On by Ye on my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. That is top three best hip hop rap verses of all time. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, even the way he dropped that album, y'all remember that like, I, I remember that Saturday or, or that Sunday when that when the 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 runaway um short film came out. Remember my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. He dropped that with a cinematic short film. Remember where he was chasing the girl? Like, like, yeah, even things like that, you know, and, and y'all see, once again, it's that element of, like, orchestra and, like, classical arts there. Like, Ye is the innovator in that, all right? Let's keep it a bean. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, like, this guy is just so multidimensional because after all of this, yeah, we, we, we got to put in Kid Cudi. We got to put in um, Big Sean. We got to put in um, all of the, the production and all of the, the things that he was part of after that, right? Um, Yeezus, like even, even the style of Yeezus, like that all black, right? Like the, the raw, distorted Yeezus type of yay. Everybody sounds like that now. As, as distorted as that was. That is a whole branch of of Ye within itself, right? Then the the Kim, right? Him and Kim, yeah. Look, after all of this, right? You know, one thing I think so dope was, was that song "Swagger Like Us," cause like I think that that I don't know if that's the only song with Wayne, um, Hove and Ye on it. I I, I think. I don't know if Ross got a Maybach music like that, but you, and you know Ti is on Swagger like us too, with the Mia sample. But um, like yo, like that even that song, you know, like what was Swagger like us did for the culture, like yeah, that's New York, Chicago, Atlanta, and the Nola, right on one fucking 
worldwide smash. Like, yo, hey, yo, y'all, I'm going to say, man, 2007 and 2008 was the golden era of hip-hop. Around that time, look, in 2007 and 2008, I'm going to keep it a being. Like, culturally, and y'all can't say that Wayne, Ye, T.I., and Jay-Z on one song is, is not... Y'all can't tell me that that's not like a... a, a a different type of vibe. Like that is hip hop right there. Right? And y'all know MIA, I think um she's from Sri Lanka. You know what I'm saying? But like y'all, like that's universal. And and I and I and I love that. And and look who's on the song. Right? We we got four uh pillars, right, in hip hop on that song. So like like that's why I say like during that time I feel like that's when hip hop culturally went to a whole other level, for real, for real. Now look, swagger like us, Jay Z, Wayne, Kanye, and Ti on one song. Y'all can't tell me that that's not hip hop, right? Atlanta, Nola, Chicago, New York on one song, and and I think Mia. I think she's from Sri Lanka. You know, excuse me if I if I mispronounce where you're from, but you know, MIA, like yeah, you, like yeah, that's universal. You feel like you don't feel no way. It's still universal. You know what I'm saying? And um that song right there, they was talking they shit. They had God level bars, they didn't dumb it down, right? They they all on the track with each other, they not trying to get flossed on by each other so they came with the a game right and even in that verse hove that was one of his best verses of all time after all of this he actually becomes a multi-billionaire and has the the best sneaker on the planet the the yeezys the foam runners like the yeezy foam runners yeah, look, those are some of the most innovative, futuristic sneakers that I have ever seen, and I and and like like I, me, I I love that. Like that, that's where I'm at with it. Like I like stuff that don't look like nothing anybody is ever wearing. And y'all, millions of people wear Yeezy foam runners. Y'all, yay! Yeah. Like, come on, man. It's the next level.